Hi guys, welcome back to um, episode 3 of this community game number 5. We're covering rounds 5 and 6 in this video. Uh, all the numbers. Okay, so Japan's snagging a few more territories for themselves. Uh, and a bomber mobilised in Japan, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, US JDK purchased a complex this round, which is nice. So we've got now a complex in Norway, which is always good for the US. They can churn out an extra two per turn. Um, he is going for a Finland shuck, so we are yeah, heavily going through Finland, um, which is nice for actually keeping the Germans out of Karelia, uh, keeping away their complexes. We're trading the Caucasus per every turn now, which is nice, um, so the Germans have got no forward complexes to deploy into, uh, which is obviously a good thing for us. We can keep them um, from stacking too effectively forward. Um, the main objective really for us is to keep the German forces diverted away from Russia. Uh, so Russia can build up a uh, heavy infantry purchase for um, Russia just getting some numbers up obviously snagging a few territories um, yeah Germany again the tr we're trading with them currently so we're trading Karelia and a few bordering provinces the Caucasus um, but that, that's fine for us we're just you know slowly slowly wearing down the German player or at least keeping them on an even keel but yeah, so my round five. Um, the main thing for me right now, the, the objective for the U.S. is to keep the uh, the U.S. building up their numbers, basically, because we want the eventually the U.S. to have a bigger army than Germany's. Um, and so, in trading provinces, it's better if it's me doing that, because it doesn't really matter if my troops, you know, if we, we, we kill my troops. Um, we want to keep the U.S. troops alive as long as possible because they need to be massed up. If they're constantly trading territories with Germany, it means we have two armies that are weaker um, instead of one army that's a lot stronger and one that's weaker because, yeah, it's, it's more effective. In terms of going for an attack, you can't attack together. <laughs> you have to take it in turns to attack, so it's not as effective as having one beast that's um, more powerful. But we're trading the Caucasus, but I'm making sure we I land, or I move a, a land unit into the Persia uh, every round just so we can have a go at the Caucasus. And try and trade that off. We're obviously bombing as well. Gotta love a six roll on the bombing raid. That's what we like. Six points of damage. Love it. And if I can do to harass Germany, as, uh, I will be doing. So, Northwestern. Nice hit from the cruiser. No return fire. That's what we like. France as well. We're not in a position to hold France currently because the the U.S. forces are not not in a position to to be reinforcing and, and holding. I'm just harassing, just constantly taking it and um, yeah, being an annoyance more than anything. But France falls, Caucasus. Nice hit from the infantry. Unfortunate return fire, but that's fine. If I don't take it, it's all right because we can still take it with the U.S. Um, we've got land. They've got two infantry, I believe, in in Russia, um, so they can walk in if they need to. But a decent little round for us. Still not dealt with this these uh, German troops in Africa, which is a big pain because it means I can't move out from Egypt. I have to keep a stack of units in Egypt. As soon as I move out, they're going to move forward and then threaten to you know blitz through and take on my African provinces, so I have to keep a, a garrison there, unfortunately. And that's obviously means that I've got a lot of troops doing not a lot, really. They're, they're having more of a passive role instead of a you know an actually aggressive role. Um, so uh, I believe I deal with that next round, thanks to a suggestion from my, one of my teammates. But yeah, this this fleet as well, um, in CC Zone 34, it's not really accomplishing much. <laughs> but there's not a lot I can do with it. It's gonna t I could possibly move it around the bottom of Africa and... Um, try and make use of it later on but for now it's just sort of stuck there not really doing a lot apart from shipping the odd unit here and there but yeah I can't really move it either way I move it through the canal it's going to get destroyed by the fighters the German fighters all the, all the Japanese fighters and move it eastward it's going to get taken up by the Japanese so it's not really too much to do I think at this point I can maintain three unit production obviously in India uh, and I should be able to be moving out three per turn from India as well because he's, he's not making an active go of India. It's clearly he's going for Russia, which is the correct move, by the way. Uh, India is not really the right move because it enables the Allies to make make a, a bottleneck down there and defend it more effectively. 
going th through China to Russia is much better because it means like we can't block because there's, there's two, it's like a two way, yeah, two lane road as opposed to a one lane road, so we can't really bottleneck it. But a decent round. We're very, very even for attack power right now. Economies are similar, although obviously we, we do have the bigger economy. So the longer the game progresses, the better it is for us because we're going to slowly pull away, which is good. But anyway, round six. Oh, sorry, round five for um, Japanese. Two transports purchased to a fighter. Obviously making sure they still have four transports near Japan while they're also grabbing territories in the Pacific. Uh, again, a few land grabs around sort of eastern Russia and China. Um, the US heavy land based purchases. Obviously we've got pretty much the entire transport system set up. Finland Shock is pretty much active right now. I think the ideal number is 11 transports pretty much but yeah it's, it's almost there. Um, not got quite the numbers to yeah, move into Karelia and hold it yet yeah, but we're not far off. Uh, I like the purchase from Delta in this round for artilleries. Obviously we've, we've got a massive infantry now sitting in Moscow so it's always nice to have some artillery to accompany them if we are going to be pushing out soon, which we hopefully are, once that US uh, force arrives. Um, again, solid purchases from Racer Man. Also some good trades across the board here, to taking back the Caucasus, Corellia. Yeah, just a bit, bit more land grabbing for, for uh, Germany, trading back, but no one's really committing to anything yet. We're just, obviously, we're, everyone's positioning themselves, and we're just preparing. There's no actual real battles happening yet, and they won't probably for a while. And here's the good suggestion from Delta. I didn't notice this at all. Um, he suggest suggested I just move my fleet down from the UK to take out these uh, German troops in Africa, which is a great idea. I, I just didn't see it. I did did not see that at all, and it was the the right move to do, obviously, because it was holding up a lot of my land troops in Egypt. So just to spend one turn, leave France and Northwestern for one turn, um, just to deal with these troops is definitely the right move. So yeah, here we go. We're going to go for. Uh, the final assault on Africa, which is a long overdue, I think. It was probably the, the move to do a while ago <laughs> to get those troops moving uh, towards the Caucasus, but still, it's uh, we're going for it now. Obviously, we can completely overwhelm them as well with what we've got, so that's going to be a pretty easy battle to go for. Uh, again, we're going to go for the Caucasus. Try and keep capturing that and being har harassing if we can. Our job's pretty simple at this point, really, in the game. We're just going to be harassment and just yeah, trying to trying to take the land trades ourselves as opposed to US US. But some pretty nasty rolls there from <laughs> from the lads, um, and not yeah very average rolls from the defence. So that, that's fine. But there we go. Africa is now pretty much completely ours. Bit of a blitz to do on that Morocco, but uh, apart from that, we can move everything now towards Russia, which is good. Nice take of courses. No no return fire, which is good. Minus 32 IPC worth of troops for Germany. That's what we like to see. Yeah, so finally Africa is, is ours, which is, I think, long overdue, as I said. I think I should have done that move a long time ago. But it's nice playing with different people. You obviously, you get a different perspective on things. And I, I don't think I would have thought to do that. I've been so focused on France that I wouldn't have thought to do that, which is great. So it's sort of a move that I've stored now in my head that if I get in this situation again, I can possibly do that again to make it an easy clear of um, the remaining German troops. But pretty good round for us, really. Not much to say. We're still moving. Yeah, I think it's three three units per turn we can move out of Africa now. And obviously we're moving the entire stack we have in Egypt. And also the ones we just landed in Africa towards the Caucasus now. So we're going to have some good support coming in. Help out the uh, the Russians against the Japanese. Again, this, this, these, that sub-carrier and transport are pretty much useless at this point. We're just sort of trying to harass. But obviously he's defending his navy effectively. I'm not only going to find an opening with those guys, but I can always hope. I'll leave this up there just in case he goes for some kind of cheeky uh, drop on Egypt. Uh, sorry, on India. I can maybe do some damage with the fighters in the sub, but unlikely. <laughs> but there we go. So, mobilization. Four and four, and uh, three more lads into India. There you go. It's very tight, though. I'm, I have to say, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm glad it's close. Um, it, it is very close, so it's a great game. Uh, actually, we're, we're, we're going to slightly, we're going to start to pull ahead slowly if the economies are in the same. But yeah, there we go. That's round six.